Welcome back everyone. Thank you for tuning in and being here today. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll find these tutorials helpful for you. Today we're going to learn how to paint a little cabin, snowy cabin reflecting onto the water. So it's going to be, there's going to be some trees here and far away like a foggy mountain maybe. And uh, so it's going to be like a reflection of a little cabin here onto the water here. I'm excited about it. Thank you to my patrons who helped me vote on the topic. So let's get straight to it and go over the materials needed for today. For canvas, I am using a 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm using it vertical this time. I usually paint horizontal, but I decided to do vertical because um, I have this idea where, you know, the trees will be reflecting onto the water here and with the cabin. And if I do it vertical, it'll be a little smaller, but I think it will look kind of cool with it, you know, vertical. So that's what we're going to do today. And um, for brushes, we need, of course, these blending brushes. They're exactly the same, just different color. And if you are interested in these blending brushes or all the materials I'm using, there's links to them down below in the description. And then we need a couple of these artist lot brushes. This is a number eight. And then this is a number four right here. And then we need any half an inch flat brush. And also any detail brush you have available. This is a number zero or a double zero works as well. For paint this time we're going to use my fine artist acrylics which are available on my website. These are a little bigger and also um, they're more expensive than the ones I recently released a set of 24 colors and also you could use these colors as well and I'll show you exactly which colors you can use from this set. But today we're going to focus on the five primary colors that I use which is titanium white, cadmium medium yellow, naphthol medium red, ultramarine blue, and carbon black. So that's what I'm going to use today, but I'll also show you the colors that you could use from this set as well. So as you can see, there's titanium white, medium yellow, scarlet, ultramarine blue, and lamb black. And also this set has a bunch of other colors you can add into your um, you know, painting if you'd like. So totally up to you which set you want to use. Um, these are more affordable, that is why I wanted to make them because my uh, followers on over on Instagram and other pages were asking if I could make an affordable set because these are a little bit more um, harder to make because they're a little more higher quality and um, they cost more. So I was able to make good quality paints but affordable and that is why I made this set available. This is what I recommend and I'm using but you could totally use anything you have available as long as you have these you know primary colors you know the colors that I explained and if you have a little bit of different shades that's totally fine experiment have fun create it in your own style these tutorials are meant to have fun and to take something away from it maybe you can learn something um, you know during the process where you can take with you and put it into your style so that's what these tutorials are meant for uh, to have a good time we need a palette and I'm using a palette paper over my palette saves a lot of time because once I'm done I can throw it away. Um, then we need a palette knife to mix your colors. We need any water jar, some paper towels, and if you have this I like to use a hair blow dryer for my first coats to quickly dry it out. Okay that'll be all for materials. All, all the stuff I'm using here today include my paints, canvas, brushes, there's links to them down below in the description if you're interested. But let's move on and start mixing our colors onto our palette. Before I put paint on my palette, I'm going to quickly describe what we're going to do here. Again, um, we're going to have a little cabin house here. It's going to be lit, so there's going to be some light, uh, you know, warm light reflecting onto the water right here. And then it's almost going to be like it's almost like it's going to be on an island and then um, then there's going to be some 
you know, trees in the back here, tall trees, and then maybe far away mountain here, but it's gonna, you, you know, you almost will be able to see it. We'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, um, that's the plan. And then we're gonna reflect that here, and then the sky's gonna be a little bit, I'm guessing it's gonna be like a lighter pink going into blue. Very, you know, simple. We're not gonna add too much clouds or anything like that. It's gonna be simple right there. We want the sky to be pretty clean because once we add the tree details, uh, we want the, you know, if we add too much details on the clouds in the sky and in the trees, everything, it, it'll, it'll look too busy, right? And so we want it background to be nice and clean and then the trees will stand out nicer. So that's the plan. Let's see what happens and now we can start mixing our colors. So first things first, we're gonna always start with picking our titanium white and we're gonna create, we're gonna start from the furthest distance, which is the sky, and we're gonna add the transitions here from lightest to darkest. And so I'm gonna create four colors, okay? Four colors. So let's add maybe two thumbs here. Four colors, about two thumbs there. Um, and then less, each time less, actually. So two thumbs, two thumbs, and then one thumb, and then less than a thumb, right there, okay? Next, let's pick up the red, and I'm going to add the red um, a little bit in here, and a little bit in here, very small amount. Now the blue, we're going to add a little bit of blue in here, very small amount, and then a little more in here. Okay, like this. So now let's quickly mix these. This one first should give me a nice light pink color, right? And I'm gonna leave this white. For now. I want to make my sky look a little bit pinkish. Transition into blue. Next should be a little darker, almost like purple, right? should be but still leaning towards pink because I didn't add too much blue there you go and I'm not mixing a lot of paint because you know um, it's not covering everything it's just covering part of the sky here okay there you go and then next is the final color and I think I'm actually going to add some more white to this color because um, it's a little bit too blue. So what I'm gonna do actually is, I'm gonna leave the white, I'm, I'm gonna add some more white in there. So I added a little more white, you can see. I wanna make it a little bit lighter. That's much better. There you go. Once you're done mixing, and it's important, I want to I want to share this with you guys because it's important that you learn how to, you know, blend and mix your colors onto your palette first, the the colors you want, maybe lay it down and add some white or darker colors to create your shades because that's how it's going to look on the canvas, okay? So um, make sure you, once you have your colors mixed nicely the way you like it, the smooth transition going on here, it'll be a lot easier to blend the colors in because they're not a dramatic change here, you know? So um, it'll be easier to work with on the canvas. That's why I spend a little bit of time mixing here and preparing it onto my palette before I go in there. Um, okay, now we have our colors here and we can lay them down on canvas and see what happens. Let's pick up our water and one of our blending brushes, dab it in the water all the way, and then squeeze the water out. And you don't wanna squeeze all the water out, 
You want to have some water in there, okay? So the water won't drip, but there's still some water. You can see, look, if I squeeze it, you saw some drops. That's what you want. Because once you get the system down of picking up um, the amount of water, and it takes practice, so take, you know, practice. Once you get it down and you lay, pick up the acrylics and put them down, um, once you get that technique down, it's actually very easy and a lot of fun to do it. So um, um, I encourage you to keep practicing and, um, and you'll get there if you are interested in this blending technique. So I have some water here, right, onto my um, brush. And I'm gonna start with the lightest color. And usually this process, um, if you'd like to watch it first, how I do it before you attempt to do it, then you can pause the video, you know, and, and then you do it yourself. Because this process, you wanna work a little bit faster because acrylics do dry faster. So um, water helps from that a little bit. But, um, but just watch this process and uh, I'll lay these colors down real quick. And, um, or you could follow along, totally up to you. Um, but do work a little bit faster here. So I have water here. I'm going to start with white, right? Pick up the lightest color and my cabin is going to be around here. So I'm just going to um, add the white right about in here. And of course, it's going to be all, you know, painted with trees and everything. So I'm not going to focus too much on trying to make it perfect. And then also there's and then every time I pick up more paint I dab my brush in the water lightly not too much water very small amount like this and then every time okay every time I pick up more paint so just keep that in mind so and I'll announce it when I'm doing it when you see water dripping that means you have too much water um, but when you feel it running smooth that's what you want okay so I added that white first you know you can Cover some of this. I'm not spending too much time here. Okay, and then I'm dabbing my brush in the water, and then I'm gonna pick up the pink, and then I'm gonna add it right in here. The pink. I'm gonna dab my brush in the water again, and add it right in here. Okay. Maybe on the bottom here as well, reflecting. Okay, and we might go back and you know touch it up later. But for now, let's add that pink in here, dab the brush in water, pick up the rest of the pink, continue on. And then we're going to now, and I'm, don't focus on too much, you know, blending the colors yet. Now let's pick up our next color. Okay. And put it in there. I want my sky to look nice and colorful instead of it looking gray. So I'm dabbing my brush in the water, picking up more colors. And this part's gonna be covered with trees, so I won't spend too much time adding here. Okay, back and forth. Dab my brush in the water again, pick up the colors. Dabbing my brush, now picking the final color, which is the blue, and spreading it all over, everywhere. Okay. Spread it everywhere. And also, you know, it depends on your quality of canvas. Sometimes when you buy a cheaper canvas, it um, you start to see the, the um, canvas effect from the you know, um, from the paint, like you'll start to see it ref um, from the paint once it dries and because the canvas is cheap, right? So I usually just buy a nicer quality canvas so that um, I'll have a nice blend and it'll be easier to work with. So right there. Now I'm gonna put my brush down and I'm gonna pick up my next blending brush. And this is the part where I start from the lightest area and right here and I'm gonna gonna go and softly use my wrist and barely pressing the canvas and almost like dabbing it and pulling the paint upwards 
while my paint is still wet you could see it starts to blend in very nice okay like this part since this is the reflective part um, I don't need to blend it like this I'm gonna just blend it like this doesn't have to be perfect this is our first layer now this we'll continue with this go back and forth lightly continue swirling you know and, and if you have some of the paint um, that you you could see some of the darker areas that's okay leave that it looks very nice it it looks like clouds from far away okay so now I'm pushing the paint upwards blending that pink into the blue swirling it gently and there you have it nice simple background we don't want to do too much to it and there you have it okay we have a quick blend of our background colors of the sky and now while this dries I'm gonna quickly clean out my brushes and get new water okay I clean my brushes and got new water now I'm gonna finish drying this out using the hairball dryer all right our background is dry we can continue with adding the further you know mountains over here um, what I like about how this created it's a nice smooth transition right but you could see some of the far like almost like misty clouds far away right that's what's really cool um, it's naturally happened maybe for you it could happen differently but that's the fun part about painting you never know how it's going to turn out so this is what I have I added a little bit of white and you know about the same amount and then I added a touch of red on both sides and then a little bit of black here okay and I'm going to quickly mix that in this will be for our mountains and I think I'm going to um, add a little bit of blue in here as well because I want it to be this color right here maybe if you have some left why don't you pick it up actually scrape it off and mix it in like that okay and then I'm gonna mix this you could see I, I don't have that much because it's just a little bit okay that's good right there it's almost like a light grayish leaning towards the red more right there now I'm going to pick up my number four brush and dab it in the water all the way make it nice and damp and so it could be nice and damp okay because it makes it soft when you blend it with the water and paint it makes it run uh, softer on the canvas you could feel it too um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add um, we're, we're gonna add some faraway mountains okay and let's for example our cabin is going to be and I'm gonna quickly sketch it out you don't need to do this if you don't want but I'm just to get you guys an idea where the you know hor horizontal line is going to be where the the landscape is going to be right so we're going to add the house be right not in the middle but like about right here this is where the horizontal line is going to be it's going to go out like this right about like this and we're going to add details later but um, I'm quickly sketching giving you guys an idea how it will look so maybe and it goes there's like a little snowy area here and it goes down here okay and the house is going to be right in the middle so I'm guessing about right here and I'm going to quickly sketch it 
I'm not going to spend too much time detailing it yet. Okay. As you can see, I quickly sketched it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's obviously going to reflect down right here. You know, it's all going to reflect down. And we're going to make it better. Okay. I'm, I'm eyeballing it. Sometimes if it's easier for you to flip it upside down, you know, the canvas, um, you can do that too. It works great as well when you flip the canvas and copy that house you know but this is a quick sketch just to get you guys an idea how it's going to look right now i'm going to add my mountains and i'm going to start with this color the light color first and i'm going to add it right in here i'm going to add some mountains but i'm going to also skip some areas i don't want to add it everywhere okay maybe it fades out with this color lightly. I'm gonna add some red in here. Make it go down. Maybe those are far away trees. You can see I'm randomly adding it, not spending too much time, quickly sketching it out first. And I'm going to continue that down and fade it out. There's going to be a tree here, so it doesn't really matter. A lot of this is going to be pretty, you know, covered. So don't spend too much time trying to make it perfect. This is our base background mountains far away. And then this side is going to be covered with a lot of trees. So um, we just want a little bit. It's it's very small amount of mountains showing right in here. And then I'm going to use the darker. Remember this darker color? I'm going to add some darker tones to it under some of these. And I'm doing like a zigzag up and down. And then here I want to completely cover it with this darker color. Those are far away trees. Then we're going to add a few more right in here. And I want this tip to stand out a little more from this mountain. And then fade it out like this. You can see very small amount.
Yours could look a little different. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. All right. That's what we have here. A faded mountain. Like I said, there's going to be a tree here, so it's going to be covered here. But that is basically and we don't need to reflect that because this is further uh, out. We're going to reflect everything that's closer up here. So this is way far back. OK. All right. So now we got the next furthest thing, which is the far mountains behind. We got it done. We can always come back to it later, but we don't want to spend too much time detailing it because this is, you know, in the background. Once we add more details up here with the trees and everything, um, a lot of it's going to be covered. So. Uh, that's why you don't want to spend too much time on it. You can come back to it later, though, once you add your uh, trees and your, you know, sketched out your um, image the way you want it to look. Then you can come back and add the details to the sky. The you know, totally up to you. All right. So um, we're gonna leave it at that. But now I want to mix some colors for our trees. So we're gonna mix colors to add the closer trees up here okay all right this is what i have i added like two thumbs of black and a touch of red here and then also some white and a little bit of blue here very small amount and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take part of this gray so that it won't go to waste and mix it in here this will be our darkest part of our painting right and we're going to add the base of our trees with this dark color. And then we're going to go over and add a little bit of snow on it and, you know, all the, those fun details. And that's what I usually do. I quickly sketch everything out, step back, maybe take a little break, come back to it the next day. And then I go over and add the details from the furthest distance going to the closest. I like to work that way, but your method could be a little bit different. Um, see what works best for you. All right, so here you have it. Now, in, I don't want to carry this darks, right? So I'm going to quickly clean it out with a paper towel. Doesn't have to be perfect. And mix, take part of this so we won't let it go to waste. Mix it in here. This will be our snow color. And we might have to mix more later, but for now it's good. Okay, light blue. There you go, that's perfect. And that's what we have. Two colors, and now we can start sketching out our trees. So let's pick up our half an inch flat brush, dab it in the water so it could be nice and damp. And then let's start off with this darkest color right here. So I'm going to pick it up. And then first thing, I'm going to draw out my trees, how tall I want them. OK, so one is going to be right in here. So I'm going to go straight up, maybe up, up until this. And then same thing, I'm going to try to copy that, but it doesn't have to be perfect. This is where it's going to reflect. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to come back to it later. So don't spend too much time on the reflection. All right, next, we're going to add right behind the house. There's a couple in here. All right, so that's going to be about right in here. And then there's a couple far away ones. Now I'm eyeballing it, so I'm not making it perfect yet. If 
first outlining my trees, right? I'm going to add one more tall one in here. Okay, moving on. Let's add a few skinny ones far away. One right in here. some behind and this I forgot that this is going to be reflected as well so the house is going to be a little bit lower the reflection because the snow area is going to reflect onto the snow a little bit as well just keep that in mind this is a rough sketch and we're gonna add the details later so I'm gonna dab my brush lightly in the water, pick up more paint so it can run smooth. And let's add a few bigger ones. I'm gonna add one right in here. So this one's gonna be a little longer. You know, I'm looking at the tips here and trying to reflect that here, okay? And then here, I wanna make a very tall one. This is gonna be the tallest. And this one probably is gonna go all the way down. All right, and then I'm gonna add a few more. Tall ones. All right, this is a rough sketch. Now we can come back. And this is, we have our layout of our trees where they're gonna be placed, okay? And now we're gonna pick up our number eight artist loft brush. It's, you can see it's rough here. And I'm gonna dab it in the water lightly so it could be damp. And I'm gonna start adding in my branches. And we're gonna sketch it out first, all right? We're gonna sketch it out, adding the branches, and then we're gonna come back, you know, with the details later. So let's use this black again. Very small amount, not too much. And then we're gonna start using the tip like this of the corner of our brush, right here in a corner and start slowly dabbing your brush lightly and create your tree effect. Skip some, you know, because you want some of them trunks to show, right? But we're, again, we're gonna come back and detail all that stuff later, but we wanna sketch our trees to see how it will look once we add in, fill it in a little bit, okay? So. I'm gonna make this a little bit wider here. Same thing here. Maybe go out a little bit like this. Light 
lightly. I'm using the tip. Lightly press. Don't press too hard. If you press too hard, you're going to, you know, you're not going to have that nice, like, tree effect going on. So practice with lightly dabbing it like this. So I'm going to go all the way down here and cover. It's okay if you cover the house. Don't worry about that. We're going to get to the ha house later. So we went all the way down. And we're going to try to reflect that. Right here, remember this snow reflects here. But I'm not gonna try to make it too perfect because um, because it's you know reflecting the water is still. We're gonna add more details to our water, but for now I am quickly adding in a few details. Like I said, if it's easier for you to flip the canvas and do this, totally do it. I'm used to working upside down and I'm eyeballing it and maybe pull the paint like this down a bit so it won't be too perfect. Right? And I think I'm going to make it a little bit taller and wider here. That's good enough for now. We're going to come back and add more details to our reflections later. Um, but let's move on and add a few more. I mean, continue doing the same idea onto these trees, okay? So lightly start from the top and bring it down. Now this is going to be you can leave some empty areas like this it doesn't have to be exactly covered you want to actually leave some empty trees it look makes it look interesting So, as you can see, I am looking and guessing. Moving on to this one. You could see this is taller than this one, so you want to 
make that this one taller than this one. So I'm gonna go a little bit lower.
All right, we've got a quick sketch. Now we could kind of see, start to see the picture, right? How it's gonna look like. Um, now we can come back and I notice like my background mountains are like very far away and like very dim. So I wanted to add a little bit of more color, at least in the front here. So I'm gonna use part of this black, maybe mix it in with the blue. Um, I wanna make a lighter gray color, right? But I don't want it too dark. I just want to add a few lighter ones, you know, up here closer. Lightly. Okay. Maybe some in here. Add a few more details. Cliffs in the mountain. That's better. Now I'm gonna clean my number eight brush in the water, take all the black out, use the paper towel to get most of the water out. And now we're gonna use this snowy color we mixed here, light blue, right? Or whatever color you have mixed. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine, okay? So I'm gonna dab it and do the same thing, but I'm gonna add a little bit, I don't wanna add too much. And this is like a snow effect and I'm gonna add some on my tree here. Okay, I'm lightly pressing, you don't wanna add too much. Maybe as you get lower, you fade it out, okay? So I'm gonna leave that there. Maybe add a little bit in here, not too much in the water. Water reflecting is always going to be a little bit darker. So lightly, I'm going to fade it out like this. All right, not spending too much time there. Continue on, add a little bit in here. Lightly tapping it. I'm using the corner of my brush and barely pressing. And if you add it too much, you can always come back and add the, you know, the darks again, the black again, go over it and until you like it. But we're quickly adding layers, sketching it out first, and then I like to, you know, come back to it later and then add more details if I have to. So um, it's always nicer to quickly put it down and then come back to it and see how it looks, you know, take a little break, no need to rush.
You can see I'm not adding too much and I'm not adding everywhere. I still want the black to be there. All right, let's move on and quickly draw out our cabin here, our house, and then we'll, you know, add more details as we go. But this is what I have. I added some yellow, a little bit of that, and then a little yellow, and then a little bit of white and a touch of red right there. And then I have black and white here. So I'm gonna quickly mix this which is gonna give me like a light orange color. So um, I'm looking at this color and I like it, but I think what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of darker color to it, a little darker tone. So I'm gonna take part of it because I don't think I'm gonna use a lot of paint for this small section right and I'm gonna add some red and the reason why I'm at making it um, red and adding this color is because we're gonna add a light here and it's gonna glow okay because our house is gonna be um, you know with lights on so I added a little bit of more red here and then I'm gonna mix that in and that's gonna give me like a darker orange right there and then I'm I added a little bit too much black so I'm gonna take part of it and put it right here for now and I'm gonna mix in this and it's okay if you have a little bit of your you know orange color mixed in there this will be our roof color and then we're gonna add some snow on it too but as a base color, this is what we have. Okay, basically a lighter gray, a darker orange, you know, a lighter color right there. And this is what we have. Now, let's, I think I'm gonna add one more color. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of red, one more darker color. And I'm gonna take part of this black, remember? Mix it in with the red. Basically, it's the same color we used for the trees. And the reason why I'm adding that is because I'm gonna add the shadows from my, you know, from 
underneath the roof, I'm going to add the darker colors. Okay, so very little right there. Okay, quickly sketch that out. Doesn't have to be perfect, um, just to get a general idea. And then um, we're going to add the base of our building here, our house, I mean. So I'm going to clean my flat brush. Let's use a half an inch brush. I'm going to clean it out, make sure I don't carry any other paint on it. And first thing, what I'm going to do is sketch it out. So I'm going to use, let's, let's draw it out. So first, let's add in the color. So let's add the lightest color right here. And I'm going to add it right in here. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Randomly add it right in here and then reflect that. Try to reflect that. And so I'm going to make the house a little bit bigger here because I made it too small. Okay, and now I'm going to take a little more, add it right there doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm going to take orange and add it on the side. So add orange on the sides. Okay. Continue on with this orange. And let's just continue all the way right here. Maybe bring it down further right here. So that's what we'll do right here as well. Okay. Now continue with this orange. Let's randomly cover everything here. Now I'm going to add some orange right in here. And this is where I'm going to add the darker colors. So our roof is going to be, I'm going to make it like this, make it a little bigger. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to draw that out as well right in here. Try my best to reflect that. And then I'm going to pick that up like this. And then I'm going to draw a little angle here. sketch that out as well right in here. Get my brush in the water. Quickly. 
could blend that in. Doesn't have to be perfect here. Blend it all in. Okay, use part of this orange. And then remember this gray? Let's pick up the gray and add it right in here. And then same thing going in here like this. Do that here. And clean out my brush and we're sketching our building out first okay sketching it out so you don't need to make it too perfect and too detailed so i'm going to use some of this orange and blend this in a little bit This is our base. Okay, and then it there's a little chimney right in here. I'm going to add a little chimney right in here. Maybe make it a little darker. Like this. make it a little taller all right okay i'm gonna quickly dry this out and then we can add more detail to it actually while this dries i'm gonna finish adding some snow in here fill in this area so it could be easier to see you know what's going on okay so i added some white here and then remember this blue that we have left i'm gonna mix it in with the white and this will be our snow. So our lightest color here. And now I'm going to add a little bit. Actually, that's good. This is good for snow. It's basically a light blue. And I'm going to add a little bit of black. and red and I'll show you so I have some black and red and I'm gonna mix it in you could clean your palette I didn't do it but that's okay it's still gonna be pretty dark so there you go roughly blend that in and now we're gonna pick up our number eight brush clean it out make sure it doesn't have paint in it and dry it out with a paper towel and it's nice and damp and now we're gonna first thing what we're gonna do is use the black and we're gonna draw our horizon line right in here Right. I'm going to dab it. I'm going to skip some areas and then there you go. 
go. Dab it in there and I'm going to reflect that right here. Okay, and now I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to switch to my number four, a little bit smaller, right here. And I use this white, that's the snow, and I'm going to draw out our snow. Okay. And we can come back to it a little later with the details, but um, we want to quickly draw our snow before we start adding more details. And then I'm going to go down here like this. And then here. Reflect that down here lightly. Now here, of course, I'm going to add more detail, so you can't see the snow yet. So we're going to cover this with darker tones. But for now, where the house is, I want to cover that with some snow. And I'm randomly adding it. Doesn't have to be perfect, like this. And same thing here. Dab it in there. So I'm going to clean my brush. Oops. Added a little bit of yellow there too. I'm going to clean that and add a little more white snow. There you go. Much better. And now I'm going to add, play around with a darker color real quick. Right here, I'm just playing with these two. So I'm going to take part of this down here a bit and draw a horizon line. this you could see it starting to happen and 
and dab some s darker areas from the snow. Pick up more. Roughly like that. Here I'm going to add the shadows, blend it in my water. I'm going to make this a little darker here. Use my finger if you want to smooth everything out. switch to my number eight real quick and add a little bit of the darker color continue fading it out does not have to be perfect okay a little bit of snow right in here so I'm gonna add like a little darker area right in here like this and then maybe another piece right in here maybe it goes like this and then maybe a little one right in here Adding the darks first. I'm going to add some in here. Those darker logs are in the water, you know. You probably won't see it because it's pretty dark in here already. But we'll come back and add those, a few of those. So I'm going to switch to my number, number four. Clean it out with a paper towel and use this snow color that we have here um, and actually I'm gonna before I do that I actually want to make this a little more darker so I'm going to add a little bit of ultramarine blue yes ultramarine blue and I'm gonna play with this so this part um, I'm gonna because my brush is damp, I'm going to mix it in with a little bit of blue, right? I'm not taking a lot at all. So I'm going to dab my brush lightly in the water so it could be, you could see a little wet. Maybe that's too much, so I dried it out with a paper towel. But I want this kind of bluish gray color, right? And I want to add some right in here in the water. Okay. Maybe not everywhere, but on some areas. And then maybe continue and add that right in here. Very lightly. So I'm working transparent as you could see. So I'm gonna add 
add some water. And play around with the colors. All right, and then a little more blue and a little more darker color. I want to make this darker here. So I'm going to dab it in the water. And you could actually use one of your blending brushes. Let's do that instead. I'm going to dab it in the water since my brush is already a little damp. I think it's easier actually. So my brush is you know, damp and I'm going to do the same idea. Okay. It's actually easier to use your blending brush and I'm going to add my brush again. It has some water and I'm using very small amount of color. I don't want too much. Okay. But I do want a, some blue in it and then I'm going to add it right in here. I wanted this to be darker than the sky. Okay, like that, there you go. And you could use your other blending brush to quickly blend that out. So one, my other blending br brush, so you won't have too much of these, um, you know, sharp areas. And I'm gonna softly go back and forth and let it naturally, you know, blend in with the background. And if there's a few lines going on, leave it. It's from the water. We want that effect on there, okay? So very lightly, back and forth. Blend it all in. There you go, much better. Okay, you could see a nice blend there. Um, you know, we can come back to it and detail it later, but let's continue and add the snow with our number four brush. We'll add the snow right on top right here. You know, make it look like a pile of snow. There you go. Okay, I'm doing the same thing. Right in here. And that's why I wanted to make it darker here because it was a little too light and and when I add the snow you won't see it'll blend in with the light colors too much that's why I needed to add it a little bit darker so we could see what we're doing And some snow right on top, right in here. Maybe a little bit reflecting, not too much. And then going in here. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect. And then remember I added some branches right in here. I want to add some snow in here. You probably won't see the logs, but they're there. Maybe one in here. Couple in here. All 
Okay, let's stop right there and clean our brush. And then we're gonna add some more details to our snow later. Maybe even add a little bit of this color that we have, remember, made for the underneath the roof, this darker color. And I wanna go over the top of the snow on some areas. I want to make it stand out, that's why. Let's add some darker tones right in here. Sometimes using your finger helps a lot. All right. I'm gonna clean that up a bit. I'm not sure if I like it. And so what I do is clean it up and use my number eight. And I'm gonna blend it in. There you go. There you go. I'm not sure if I want to add too much, so I like that darker area down there. So I'm going to use a little bit of black and cover some of these so it won't stand out too much. Okay, like this. There you go. All right, so now before we continue adding details around here, I'm going to add details to my house and then we're gonna let's outline this area here real quick like that okay let me bring you down here Great little patterns. That's good. All right, let's continue and add, um, add the details to our house, all right? So now I'm going to use my, I'm gonna use my detail brush for this part right here and let's, Start off with adding a little bit of black and whatever you have left here so we won't let it go to waste. This will be our darkest part of the house. And let's start with black and outlining everything, dabbing it brush in the water and picking that um, darker swirling it onto your brush and what we're going to do is now we're going to define our house you know make it more defined right and this is where you can spend a little bit of time going over and shaping everything out right for example i'm going to go up here and go down like this and then you can flip your canvas but i'm not going to do that here i'm going to eyeball it because, you know, to save a little bit of time for you guys. 
but you can come back to this part and and detail it later. So then it goes in like this. And I'm going off of a reference photo, but um, I'm creating it in my own style. So I'm not exactly gonna paint it exactly like it looks on the photo. And I always do this. If I'm going off of reference, I always take an idea and recreate it in my own style. Um, and you don't need to try to copy it exactly like it because it's never gonna really turn out exactly anyway. So what's, why try so hard, you know? I mean, you can if you want to, but I prefer, it's a lot of fun putting your own imagination and ideas to your house or to your placings of the trees um, where you want them to be. Okay, so I added my, now here I want to add this going down and I'm going to try to eyeball it. About there. And I'm not, on this part, you don't have to exactly copy it, okay? Because this is supposed to be a little blurry, the, the bottom for the house, okay? So keep that in mind, that it's not supposed to be perfect. You want to get a rough sketch of it, and then um, and move on. All right, so I'm going to continue shaping it out and I'm going to add a little beam here, right? I'm going to randomly draw it and here and then blend it out. And then I'm gonna add a beam going up like this.
add a beam right in here as well. Doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, you can if you want, totally up to you, okay? And I'm gonna do a, a little beam across. draw like little stairs up here or something I'm going to draw some lines going across, fade them out, same thing here. And then draw a little window right in here. Now here, we're gonna have some windows. So I'm going to draw a beam that's gonna go cross and stop right here. So we're not gonna to touch that. But let's go down. Yeah, my brush in the water so it can run smoother and I'm going to go all the way to the top and color in my window same thing here go down and then stop about right there Okay, continue using the same color because we have a beam right in here. And we're gonna make another one right in here. This one will be dark one. Moving on, let's add another one. Yeah, my brush in the water. And I'm gonna do that 
in here so if you remember how you did it and remember you don't need to make it too perfect here you know you can eyeball it but you don't need to try to make it too perfect water you know it's moving a little bit so it's maybe maybe it's a little blurry so quickly sketch that out dab my brush in the water pick up more black and one more let's do one more every time we're trying to copy that here but like I said don't spend too much time this is quick reflection you can make it messy and blurry if you'd like but if you want to make it exactly like it you can as well but remember these ripples right here they create like abstract almost kind of you know waves and makes it not look perfect so I wouldn't spend too much time detailing the bottom, mainly right here. Okay, now let's create a couple beams going in like this. I don't know, maybe there's some beams going in like this. Who knows, right? And then I'm gonna add a little window for fun right in here, hiding, going up. that all right so we have that sketched and now I want to make some lines here going in like this and then one line going in like this. And then one more like this. Maybe one more. And then here, right in here, I wanna at a straight line like this from the roof. And then add your lines like this and then add your lines randomly like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is, we're adding little details as we're going, you know, back and forth, back and forth add a little bit, come back to it, add a little bit more, come back to it some more later, you know? Take your time, no rush. All right, so we got the quick layout here. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger here that all right so now I'm gonna bring this down lightly bring some of these down for fun maybe there's more beams here who knows Okay, so now I'm gonna clean my detail brush. I'm gonna use part of this gray. Remember we mixed? I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. Here, make it more straighter. And then 
and add a little bit of make it look a little bit rocky okay so now let's add some snow so I'm gonna with my detail brush I'm gonna use this remember we still have some snow left and if you ran out it's mainly white and a little bit of blue but mainly white and so now I'm gonna add some snow and I want to add it right here going in the gutter like this and then I'm going to add some right in here maybe some of them melted but I'm gonna add some right in here and have it attached to this like this and then here it's pretty much connecting and it's going to attach on the bottom like this so I'm going to dab my brush in the water and continue adding that like this cover this up a bit and then here I'm gonna try to copy that you know it might not be exactly like it but I'll try my best okay I'm gonna add a few more here so I could see that this is a little longer than this one so that's why um, it's important to, you try to follow you know and so what I'm gonna do it's very easy fix use this black and make it a little wider and then use part of this gray that's good enough doesn't have to be perfect all right some more snow So I'm going to add snow on this side of the roof and go all the way to the top right here and bring it down bring it down to this gutter like this okay and do that here try to copy that again if it's easier for you to flip your canvas do that like that there you go I'm 
and I think I went a little bit too far in so I'm going to pick up my black and draw in my roof here and cover it because I think I overdid it here that's a little better so I'm going to clean my brush and continue with the snow a bit this snow and then add the details right in here Let's add the snow on this side. try to translate that here okay <clears throat> and maybe a little bit of snow quickly outline using the same color some of these areas okay so I'm gonna clean my brush actually one more spot I forgot is the roof right here And now I want to add the light. Oh, I kick back, you know, adding more details to my house, but I want to add a little bit of the light right in here. And I'm going to add some titanium white, and I already have some yellow here. 
on the side. So just with those two colors, I'm going to add a nice glow effect. So start with white. Make sure your detail brush is clean and we want it right in the middle, right in here. Okay, so it's on top, so it's going to be right in here, right? So, you know, copy that and um, spread it out like like a star almost, right? Same thing here. Doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. There you go. All right, so now we're gonna use a little bit of the yellow. Okay, so some yellow and add yellow on over it. Straight yellow. We want it to glow this area. So I'm going to go back and forth with the um, yellow and white and try to um, create a glow effect from this light, okay? And then obviously it fades out to the darker red. But it, over here I want to make it super yellow and glowy. So clean my brush and use the white again. And it's just back and forth, back and forth. Add the white right in the middle. We want white to be the brightest in this painting. We want it to be, that's why I didn't use, that's why I added a little bit of blue here for my snow because I want this light to stand out the most, more than the snow, more than anything. And slowly spread it out like this. Same thing here. Okay. Now some of these beams are going to have a little bit of glow go going on. So use some white and yellow and go over some of these beams and add some light to them, warm light. Even go in here as well. Gonna add a little bit of yellow in here. Maybe there's light coming from that corner. Maybe go inside a bit. Let's continue and I added some red, more yellow and a little bit of white and I'm going to play around with this red color here, maybe mix it in a little bit with the black so it won't be too intense. And I want to add it, um, so my brush is damp, but I want to add it right in here underneath. Okay. 
and then maybe some right on the bottom right here of this house. <clears throat> you know follow whatever you're doing here follow it and bring it down add a little bit of red right in this corner I want to create a glow you know that okay that's better getting close and now I'm gonna clean my brush and do the same thing but around the with yellow and white I'm gonna go around this light and make this even brighter let it hit the ceiling here with the yellow. Yellow and a little bit of white. All right. Let's continue some with some white. I want to make this a little more bigger spread it out lightly do the same thing on the bottom whatever you're doing on the top and create that glow effect so i'm going to add a little bit of white right in this corner I'm going to clean my brush and add a little bit of yellow and um, and then we'll continue adding a few more details so yellow around the edges creates a nice nice shiny glow better and now with a detail brush we're gonna use some water and yellow and white mix it in and lightly go over some of these and create you know some glow Okay, I'm going to dab my brush in the water and detail everything I see.
and a few extra details. I'm going to switch to my number eight brush and I'm going to use a little bit of, let's start with the lighter color. Let's just start with the snowy here. Very little, you could see I'm using mainly white and I'm going to, you know, go over this house like this with the lighter color. Maybe some in here. You could see some very little. Okay. And then maybe some in here with the lighter color, okay? So I'm gonna use a little bit of water, not too much. There you go. And then I'm gonna use my blending brush, dry, remember, and go back and forth and dim it down a bit so it won't be too strong. But you could see it's fading a little bit in here because it's in the water and we want that. We want some to be kind of blurry, some areas, right? So I'm gonna do a little bit more, um, add a little bit more of the lighter color right in here. So there you go. And blend it in, smear it. Smear it, doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and then do the same thing. Maybe add a few more darker ones. So same idea with a little bit of the darker color right here. Okay, and water. And I wanna add a little bit in here. So I wanna add a few, probably let's add Okay, I didn't like that, that's a little bit too much, so I clean my brush and I'm gonna use some water too. Blend it in like this and then use my blending brush to softly blend all that stuff in. You can see it's smooth. So I like this pink, so I'm gonna leave that but here softly with my dry brush. There you go. And then you can also add, maybe change it up, you know, this is a detailing part. So you can come back and detail it with a little bit of the darker area, maybe add a line that goes, who knows, you know? Maybe there's a line that goes like this with the darker. Totally up to you. So I'm gonna add that line. A little too much, that's okay. I'm gonna use my Number eight and water and clean it up a bit. I mean, I'll leave it on there. Maybe make this, leave this out here, but make it a little bit faded with water. You could see what I did there. And then use my blending brush to softly take some of the darker colors out. There you go. That's nice right there. And then with a detail brush and some darker color, you can come back and detail, you know, sharpen some of these areas. Like for example, this snowy area, I'm gonna go over and outline part of it. You know, and fade it out maybe, but this area I wanted to make it look sharper here. 
do the same thing here. But you don't want to make it too sharp because this is more blended, remember? It's more smeared. All right, and then same thing here. Want this area a little more sharper. And then here. And you can with water and number four and a little bit of darker color, continue adding your shadows in your water. I decided to add a few more. Here, this, and use my blending brush to soften it out. So a little more darker areas right in here, and then maybe in here. a few more little snows and call it good with this painting so I'm gonna add like a little snow here I added some in here and maybe a little chunk in here So I'm going to clean my brush and use the dark color to add the shadows on the bottom. Maybe this one won't even be here actually. But this one. Oops, a little smudge there, that's okay. I'm gonna use a paper towel and water and slightly clean it out. There you go. Okay, I'll be done for today. You can go on and on detailing as much as you want, totally up to you. You can come back to it the next day. Have fun with this. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know what you thought down below in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe and share if you thought this was helpful. And um, thank you for being here again. Take care and God bless. See you soon.